If the establishment were slow to grasp the significance of the Cologne attacks, not anymore. Politicians, the police, the media, originally caught on the hop, are playing catch-up in a big way. And today, the anti-Muslim group Pegida provided the visual backdrop. What's happening in Germany over this is much bigger than objections from the usual suspects, though. Earlier in the day, on the steps of the cathedral, women's groups also called for action. We're upset and angry as women of the sexual violence that happened here in Cologne on New Year's Eve. But we're even more upset and angry that they're racists that are using this for their racist propaganda. The real drama today was taking place behind closed doors. Meetings between Angela Merkel and her party in the morning. Then some uncharacteristic tough talking on asylum seekers from the German Chancellor. What happened on New Year's Eve were despicable criminal acts which call for decisive answers. She went on to talk about the possibility of fast-track deportation for refugees who commit crimes. The right to a resident status and an asylum procedure can be lost if someone is convicted on probation or jailed. Federal authorities now say they've identified 18 asylum seekers among 31 suspects involved in the violence on New Year's Eve night. The suspects are mainly from North Africa, but include Syrians, Iranians and others. Yesterday, the region's police chief was forced to stand down after it became clear that police had downplayed the seriousness of what happened. However, there were also rumblings that there weren't enough police to cope in Cologne because officers had been deployed to Bavaria to manage the inflow of refugees on the borders. Politically, at least, it must be feeling a long way from the standing ovations for refugees arriving in Munich Station in the summer. And for Angela Merkel, this is now about much more than just keeping the electorate feeling warm inside. She has a very specific political problem. Well, I think it's a really important moment when it comes to the refugee policies. It might actually be a turning point. And what we've seen is a massive schism between Merkel's party and her sister party in Bavaria. Her sister party in Bavaria has been calling for an upper limit of 200,000 refugees a year. And it's quite clear, even if there isn't an upper limit, that something will have to move now. The Merkel mantra has always been, wir schaffen das, we'll manage this, which is the problem. In Cologne on New Year's Eve night, it didn't look like very much chaffin was going on at all.